drivers not with stellar reaction time. Slight lead for Jason Line, and he's going to hit the finish line first. The 666, more importantly for him, his sixth race win of the season, 43rd of his career. He extends his lead. It was a little tardy. Neither one of us wanted to win. It was uh, it was kind of crazy. I blinked the ball up there and uh, the uh, three didn't go on. So uh, that was a tough one, and uh, certainly not one of my but uh, nonetheless, the win might come on in the Sump Chevy Camaro uh, in the winter. Season. So, unbelievable. And uh, this, is, this is just, I don't know what to say. It's great. It's the best year I've ever had. And it's not done yet. So, uh, I just, I'm so excited. I want that ARP Hogus Manifold. Um, Maxima Oil, Be Cool Radius. Everybody that helps me start the first night black here today. And, uh, I love the day. You have to dig deep, man. Hagen, he's one of the best levers out here, and uh, this team's been fighting all year, and, and I've been coming to the tree every time for them and trying to do my best, and uh, I knew they'd get it. I knew we'd get it lined out. John, Rip, all my guys on the Mechwish team doing a great job this year, and they give you an opportunity. You have to seize it, and we did. I, I wanted that one bad, and happy Father's Day to my dad. Happy birthday to him as well. Same weekend. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there, but Terry, we did it. We got us in the Traxxas shootout. Woo! Somebody forgot to tell Sean Langdon, though. 383.8 for Phil Schuler, Todd Okahara. Good moment for a team that was certified was struggling out of the gate, but they are turning it on here in the middle part of the season. The second Bristol race win for Langdon, the 12th of his time in his career. Good luck in once in a while, right? Oh, man. I got me a yellow hat and a partially broken trophy, but nah, it's good. Man, this feels good, I'm telling you what. This, uh, God, this Redfield team, man, we, we struggled bad in the beginning of the year. Five, I think it was five straight races lost first round. And, man, one, one thing about this team is, is nobody quit, man. Everybody, they, no one had their heads down. Everybody just worked their ass off, bottom line. Phil and Todd, man, they turned this car around. And, uh, you know, I got to say hats off to, uh, to all the other crew chiefs, um, you know, with within DSR. When we were struggling, it wasn't about, you know, individual teams. They, they, everybody came together, and, and we had other teams, you know, with, uh, with Ryan Karate, Mark Oswald, those guys, they came over and, and helped us out, too. But, uh, man, for Red Fuel, for Sandvik, Toyota, everybody with DSR, man, this feels good. What a history making night last night. Alright guys, my SWR. Boy, let's get down, <clears throat> excuse me, let's get down to what happened yesterday. History making, which I'll get to a bit. But NASCAR, there was only the Truck Series race and the uh, Xfinity race, and uh, Sam Hornish got the win. So, which I didn't watch it because I didn't know it was on early. So, I watched the. Uh, Drag race, so, but, um, yeah, I mean, Bustin' and Horace was driving for Joe Gibbs, if you know Joe Gibbs is having some success lately, so, pretty much give him win, but, yeah. And, um, well, actually, I think Joe Gibbs made a sweep by Iowa because his, uh, well, it's Kyle Busch Motorsports, but the parts are by Gibbs. So, <laughs> if you know what I mean, um, so, yeah, that, I, I forgot his kid, but that, that, that name. Um, William Byron, that's the name. Yeah, he is an 18 year old and he drives for Cobblish Motorsports, but the parts are under Joe Gibbs. So, that's, I mean, same with JR Motorsports. It's under Hendrick. So, <laughs> kind of go with, I mean, I can't see uh, drivers 
who've been there kind of early have a, have all that money to make a race team. They they actually got to have some backup. So that's how it works. And NHRA, well, KB Racing yet again in another final, and then and then another car won. Uh, Jason Line got it done, and then the DSR was both top fuel. I mean, a funny car and top fuel with uh, Tommy Johnson and Sean Lang getting the win. So, so now they're off to um, um uh, oh, yeah, Normwalk, Ohio at some some more sports park, and then after that they take like I think a week off. I think yeah, a, a week off, and then they go to uh, Route 66. In Chicago, so see how it all goes from there for HRA. Let's see if that uh, KB team can get beat because <laughs> they've been dumbing the pro stock class. So yeah, so yeah, and um, boy, WE boy, well, it was kind of no surprise because he said he was going to do it, but when he won it, he did it. And Dean Ambrose is your new WE World Champion, and plus, uh, and plus had a Shield connection too because Rain was champion then. Seth Rollins just won it, then Dean Ambrose just got it. So, so yeah, it was quite a quite a night. I mean, especially at the uh, place I was at last night. Yeah, a lot. We had a lot of Dean Ambrose fans, and they just, yeah, huge pop. So, and plus, I was happy too. I mean, to just to, to, to see a um, guy who had a robbery with Seth Rollins finally accomplish something against him. So, yeah. Yeah, because Dean Ambrose has that kind of stone cold uh, gimmick in a way. So, oh, not all the way, but some, some of it. But, but now it's the uh, era of Dean Ambrose, so we'll see what happens. And plus, with the draft coming up here too, not too soon. So, see how, see how, see how all that's going to work out. And plus, the other matches too. Uh, Nat Natalia has a heel turn, and then um, plus uh, the uh, New Day de de defended their tag titles in that. Fiddle four-way match, and um, AJ Styles was the better man with a little help from the Bullet Club, <laughs> and then um, oh, and uh, Rusev beat Titus, no surprise, and then um, I think there's some other match. Oh yeah, Baron Corbin beat uh, Dolph. So, so in all, so let's so, so we'll see what happens on Raw night. I'll be re uh, recording my reaction if there's a main event. So, get all that. I haven't heard any, um, actually I did, uh, but uh, <laughs> it was kind of a joke type of thing, which I think it was. Uh, I seen that uh, David Robinson, a, uh, a, a, a player, a basketball player for the Spurs, who were a championship team um, during that year, I think yeah, it was back in 98, anywho, um, yeah, he tried out for the Seahawks because he was a, a, a Seattle resident because he went to the... Uh, University of Washington, so I don't think that worked too well because David Robson's up there in his age, so yeah, I I wonder I just maybe wonder if he was just teasing with the media or don't know, but yeah, I mean but maybe not, but still his age speaks for himself because he knew, because he'd been playing basketball for a long time, so yeah, I can't see him doing that <laughs> for Seattle, so but anywho, um and the NBA, we got first-time champs for the curse they've been having, but now it's broken. The Cleveland Cavaliers have not won their first NBA championship, and it means the bandwagoners are gonna be jumping shifts. <laughs> it happens in sports now. I mean, you can't stop them, but but yeah, happy for Cleveland. I mean, they deserve it for all these years, and they've been close. Especially back in the 90s where the Bulls stopped them <laughs> from, again, the closer they were. But um, uh, but as far as, yeah, I mean, it's a great, I mean, it, at least if they get their basketball championship out of the way. So, um, because they, they had in baseball, football, and now they got one in basketball. So now the town has three championships in three different pro sports. If he, if he, if you don't count college sports, such as Ohio State, <laughs> but um, but anywho, yeah, good for them. And now it's on to the draft, and see who Portland picks up. And hope that Whiteside goes to Portland. Cross the fingers on it. 
Need the guy. <laughs> Need him. Durant, not so much. Whiteside's a guy that they should get. And now the MLB standings here. Yeah, see, the Yankees choked yesterday. <laughs> and plus, uh, see, I lost. So Baltimore is in lead in the East. And then the Central, it's Cleveland. And the West, it's Texas, with a big margin over Seattle. And the National League, it's Washington, Chicago, the Central, and Giants in the West. So nothing has changed in, in the lead. The team that's on a hot streak. is the Rangers. They won six in a row. And team's not doing so well. Seven in a row, that's the Phillies. Ouch. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, all, all star breaks coming up for the MLB, so things change up. I mean, they mix up, so. And the Cubs, I think, has sells the best record, yeah, overall. So. So, yeah. Yeah, because the National League is doing better than the American League is right, right now in, in wins and losses. So. Well, the leaders of the, of the standings in the West and Central East. So. So you have it on that. And in Oregon, I mean, uh, <laughs> college football, which I do talk about Oregon college football a lot. But uh, I seen there was a change on this schedule. I'll get right to that here. I uh, ch ch checked it uh, yesterday while I was um, out for lunch for Father's Day. So, all right. Okay, that's volleyball. Okay. Facing Nebraska at 12.30 my time on ABC. That's the only change. Yep, that's the only change they, 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 they made to the schedule. So I'm happy. It's an early game. So, uh, so, uh, so at, at least it's not a late game like uh, Virginia. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, so that's good. So, I, I was kind, I was kind of expecting for it to be to be prime time, because those kind of they're kind of two big teams going to get each other. But early, I don't mind. So we'll see how the Ducks handle um, Lincoln. <laughs> so, and plus against their old uh, rival coach from the Beavers, yeah, Mike Riley. So, see how all that plays out. Can't wait. September 3rd. It's not far far away, so... Yeah, itching. <laughs> About less than th three months away. College football. Can't wait. Can't wait. So, anywho, um, no other news. You all saw what happened in college ba baseball, so I don't, get, so I don't want to get, get into that. So, Actually, I don't... Here, maybe I should. Sorry. Maybe I should. Okay, yeah, they are going on still. Okay. I thought it was over. All right. 
So bracket one is going on right now between Miami and Arizona, and Miami has one loss. Then uh, you see Santa Barbara, and, no, Oklahoma State. You see has one loss. Then bracket two, it's Florida and Texas, and and Texas Tech, and they both have one loss. And the Coastal Carolina and TCU have no losses, so they have it on that. So the so the Elite Eight is there still for the College World Series. So so it's so it's section not done quite yet. It's going on still. So kind of I'm kind of pulling for Arizona in this because they're only the only Pac-12 team in the uh, bracket. So yeah. So you have it. So I've got nothing else mentions coming up. Yeah, just as far as I know. But anyway, here's my VGM choice of the week. It's, it's actually from the same maker who uh, made the uh, Cut Man and the Flash Man uh, remake. So, so guys, go check them out. I will give you the link under the description to, to, to go check them out. So, you might listen to some of his works. You know, you might like them. So, I'm going to show. So, I'm going to do one more next week, and then and it's off from there. So, anyway. Um, Video's coming next. Oh, no, wait. My subscribe of the week. Sorry. Forgot. <laughs> anyway, I've been listening to this guy's game reviews, and they're pretty good. It's uh, Stan Birdman. B-U-R-D. Man. I've been uh, listening to him for quite a while. Uh, he, I mean, he does game reviews. All, most of them all game reviews. Bad, good, you know. But he's got quite a following. He's got over 55,000 subscribers. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, 55,874 55, as of now. So, if you guys haven't saw him yet, go check him out. So, I'm going to see what he put up recently here. He did a Doom game review, Ant Simulator. Shachimi game review, Mirror's Edge. Oh yeah, I've seen Jack Seven guy play that game. He also did it too. Tom Clancy's the, the, the Division game review. Team NT Mutants in Manhattan. Yeah, I've been hear about that game. I didn't think of it too much. I only just watched the playthrough of it. That's was good enough for me. And Transformers Devastation game review. And a Gauntlet uh, Slayer edition. Fair City Primal. Uncharted 4, the uh, the uh, worst game ever made, Predator. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the bad ones. Ratchet and Clark game review, give birth and give birth a cute baby game review. What? That's not that one. <laughs> and Ant City game review, Assassin's Creed, Chronicles, Super Police, Pursuit. Green Lantern Flying Test Game Review, Final Fantasy 25, Platinum, Awful Video Game Slash Action Hero, it's like an yeah, Arnold game, like it was in Predator, and Batman Arkham Knight, Drunk Simulator Extreme, <laughs> the uh, best video game ever, Shovel Knight Review, Mad Max, Empty Building Simulator, EA Sports, UFC Fight 2, I mean, no, UFC 2, sorry, 
Sonic 3D Blast, awful video games, yeah, Batman Forever, I've seen that one. And same with Dark Castle, yeah, that was a bad one too. Awful video games, Challenger, no, no, Cliffhanger, re review. And then Awful Awesome Possum, yeah, I heard about those. From another certain game reviewer, so, back in, back in 2007, 2008, during those times. So, there you have it. So, if you guys have checked him out, go check him out. He's got more than than uh, what I read, but I just went 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 through the f first page. So, so yeah. My might not might not might not be as popular as my Markiplier or Jack Center guy, but he's good. So, guys, go check him out. If you have it, do so. And we just coming next. Still working on my NCAA. Um, uh, 10, so I'm getting through where I am now, it's the Conference USA, so I uh, just had some close games on it lately, <laughs> two of them were uh, classics, instant classics, so so yeah, so with that coming up, and plus, uh, yeah, last night I, uh, well, I'll just show you on the highlights, see, because, because I, because I, re but not every photo, but I, uh, well, if I have the, the, the time, I uh, post a, a, a photo of the game. Because sometimes when I'm playing, I'm in a hurry or I have to go to work. So, so yeah, I mean, I kind of do, 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 do. Sometimes I, I forget to post a photo of the game. So, so yes, yeah, so that's coming here not too soon. It's in the future. So, I'm posting more NASCAR 07. So, and plus, I just did a video recently. So, big, 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 because I only had like about three uh, left on my uh, USB drive. So, I had to make more. So, so yeah. So, that's it. Got nothing else to mention as far as what's going on in this world. Uh, they've been uh, t talking about a, well, a lot of, about that shooting in that uh, bar, which which, which, I didn't, which I didn't realize it was a gay bar until I uh, said it, what I said about it last time. So, I just seen it, I just seen it said bar, so I didn't know what it was, a, what type of bar it was. I just, I, I just thought it was a regular bar. But, um, and it was gay bar, so. But this guy's history is, yeah, being. Trying to be an ISIS member, so. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I'm just, you don't know. So, yeah. I won't say any more. That's it, guys. Just take care. Don't, don't do anything dumb. Be smart. Just. Stay classy. Be yourselves. That's it. So, from the guy. That's a big YouTube account here, right here in the small town Pendleton, Oregon. Going out. Take care, guys.